movie and uh, the Swiss um, Silver Surfer, the Swiss the Beta Ray Bill instead of the Silver Surfer was an excellent idea. Because, I mean, you think about it, the Silver Surfer is really not a strong enough character to put against the Hulk. I mean, the Hulk can kick Silver Surfer's ass easily. And look at how the Thing kicked Silver Surfer's ass in um, the Fantastic Four uh, cartoon when Galactus came in back in the 90s. That was, I mean, you whacked him like a, like a baseball with his surfboard, so obviously Hulk can kick Silver Surfer's ass like that, so uh, really it's it's better to put him against Beta Ray Bill. Beta Ray Bill's a hell of a lot stronger character. So that was that was a good idea. And just the whole thing, and the ending was great, um, and this movie sort of explains how Hulk gets a child. In the comic books, he, his ch he ends up with a son named Scar, and I'm wondering, well, wait a minute, how does the Hulk end up with a son? And in the movie uh, that Ed Norton did as the Hulk, there's a scene where Ed Norton, where Bruce Banner is about to have sex with Betty, who is being played by Liv Tyler, and uh, they stop before before they really get it on. Uh, I, I guess right in the middle of the foreplay, I guess you could say, and because his pulse is getting too high, and he's afraid he's go obviously he's going to turn into the Hulk if he has sex with her, so. How can the Hulk have a son? And then you find out, oh, the planet Hulk explains that he falls in love with somebody. So, oh, okay, all right. That explains it. Uh, one thing I didn't totally understand, I kind of, uh, my own explanation was the, uh, these talk bots are, or, or these little microbes that are being put into uh, the Hulk's brain when the when the beans disc is being put on him that uh, helps him understand these aliens. I didn't understand why the Hulk was being was able to speak so intelligently through the whole movie. And my ex I, I thought, oh, well, it must be the talk bots. According to the uh, director's commentary, it's actually the effects of the of the portal that brings Hulk from wh where the where the red aliens find him to the uh, gladiator ring, but I, I like the idea that that's the talk bots instead of the uh, in my own mind rather than the, the effects of a portal. And that makes more sense to me. As far as uh, you never see Banner in this whole movie, uh, even when Hulk is calm, he never really trains his back to Banner, and according to the director's commentary, the reason why Bruce Banner never appears in this cartoon, well, obviously we can't call it a cartoon because that's blood in this cartoon, but um, in this animation, is because this plant is too toxic for Bruce Banner to live, but it's not toxic, but the Hulk can exist fine in this, so, and the Hulk always comes out when Bruce's banner's life is in danger, so always, so that's why the Hulk is always there. I said, oh, alright, well that makes sense, because I was wondering, why isn't, why is he transforming back to Bruce Banner? I was like, oh, okay, because uh, his life is still in danger being on this planet. Alright, I guess that makes sense. So, alright. The whole thing was great. Definitely get the movie Planet Hulk or rent it, whatever. An excellent movie to watch. I love watching this over and over again and again. It's just it is such an excellent movie. Also the um the the songs to Spider-Woman and um Astonishing X-Men 
the music videos are on this DVD as well, and it's part of the extras. Which I found kind of cool. I know I didn't like the Astonishing X Men song. Yeah, I'm not too keen on I don't really care too much for rap songs. I did like the Spider Woman song though. <laughs> but okay.